all, fellow cooperators, ladies and gentlemen, friends, well wishers of the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. My name is Colin Bartholomew, and it gives me a great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you here this afternoon to the first of the one on one with the CCLCS lecturers. I am the head of the department for cooperative studies and I'm really honored to begin this journey with you. As we go over the next couple of days, we will be joined by other heads of department as we share on our programs and the excitement of our programs and how our programs can actually impact the life. You know, anywhere of your career, where you may be positioned, we are pleased to offer options and solutions for you to take you along that positive road path. And this afternoon, we will take the, the presentation to a structured approach. First of all, I will deliver the presentation in terms of the offerings of the Cooperative Studies Department of the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. As we go along, I encourage you to ask your questions in the chat. So you may post your questions in the chat. Thereafter, we would entertain any questions and I'll try my best to provide the answers to you as we go on this afternoon. Also, don't forget to encourage persons to log on to share the link on the various social media platforms for a chance to win. We have an opportunity here this afternoon where you can win scholarships and bursaries. So I encourage you to share the link and on the YouTube channel, I encourage you to share, like, and subscribe. So we're really happy to have you here this afternoon. Of course, don't be a stranger. I encourage you all to pose any questions or comments you may have in the chat box. And afterwards, we'll get into a lively discussion concerning those questions. All right, so once again, just reminding you, my name is Colin Bartholomew, and I will be taking you through this presentation here for the next approximately 20 minutes, including the questions and the answers. Okay, so as you move smoothly along, I will begin sharing the presentation. If you just allow me. Excellent. So, of course, we're beginning at the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. And, you know, we want to create the, the foundation and create a backdrop as to why we are here this afternoon. And just to quickly share with you all the college's vision. And of course, we are the premier Caribbean tertiary institute for accessible world-class education in labor, cooperatives, and related fields, empowering people to make a positive social and economic impact. And as we go along, you will see that is closely tied to our mission, which speaks to empowering and strengthening the intellectual and practical skills of not only the people of Trinidad and Tobago, but of Caribbean people to increase their earning potential and value to society. How do we do this? Through the provision of dynamic, relevant, high quality programs and raising the consciousness of the labor and cooperative movement. Now, we also speak about, you know, engaging in that social dialogue and empowering working people in particular to our programs. And these are tied closely to our values of being 
people center of focusing on decent work, the effective transfer of learning, integrity, social and economic justice, and of course, community. Those are part of the strategic direction of the college. And we believe in empowering all through education. And this is really tied closely to, to our programs and what we offer. Now, in terms of our offerings, you would hear it in the cooperative studies program, but you would also hear it as the other programs are also delivered and our offerings reside at the certificate level, the diploma level, the bachelor's level, and also in terms of specialized training. We are an accredited institution. Under the Accredit Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago, and within Trinidad and Tobago, our programs qualify for the GATE program. So as we look into the programs, and here I speak specifically to the area of cooperatives. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar with cooperatives, a cooperative is a business model. Now, you would hear about a company, you would hear about the sole trader, you would even hear about a partnership. Cooperative business model is another type of business, and it is an autonomous association of persons voluntarily united to meet common economic, social, and cultural needs to a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise. And of course, in that vein, we have structured our programs around supporting that cooperative business model. It is a business. Therefore, it requires all the components for sustainable, structured, well-governed business and therefore our programs help to support that now the core areas of study look at cooperative studies and credit union management in general but you also look at financial and managerial accounting strategic leadership and management areas such as the principles of marketing because cooperative require a unique form of marketing as well as the approaches to human resource management. Now, a couple of years ago, we engaged in a curriculum revision exercise and some new areas of study were introduced. And these include cooperative entrepreneurship and innovation. Cooperative entrepreneurship and innovation. And we know those are buzzwords now. And as people engage more and more into business, we in particular promote that collective business model, that collective entrepreneurship. Also, we're looking at in terms of extension principles, practices, and application. And you would hear about this in other settings under the name of local economic development or LED. So we also look at that. And of course, uh, even now, we must be looking at strategic information technology for 21st century businesses. The cooperative has become 21st century business now more than ever, particularly in this global pandemic. It calls on all businesses and in particular, the collective business of cooperatives to be 21st century business ready another area we look at we took some of the classes out of the classroom and we give it a practical slant as well because we believe that learning does not only take place in the classroom you have to be within the movement especially a movement that is characterized by a collective model so we engage our community to these particular courses, the Student Cooperative Project or the Business Simulation, where actually 
go out into a cooperative business and experience it. We have volunteerism in the cooperative movement where they actually go out and practice, put into practice that concept of volunteerism, which is so, so, you know, so much spoken about, particularly in this era. And as particularly now we're talking about the COVID period where compliance issues are very fluid. We have deliberately taken the approach to educate our students in the principles of anti-money laundering and counter-financing counter of terrorism, otherwise known as AMLCF. All right, and as I said, also we have a lot of exciting workshops, conferences, seminars, and those conferences surround current issues in the cooperative movement, such things as how credit unions have responded to COVID-19. Most recently, we hosted a webinar series where we looked at credit unions and COVID-19, the response of a movement, and that was the end of phase one. And one part of a series of webinars held at the college the second phase of that will start shortly and we look at specific issues, including the hosting of annual general meetings and general meetings virtually and other issues like that, responding to members' needs where we cannot be in contact with them. So workshops, conferences, seminars help the students come closer to current issues and meet it a lot of pride in revising our curriculum around such actions. And of course, what are the benefits of engaging in, in these programs and being a part of these courses? Of course, we look at flexible teaching and learning. We are very proud to be one of the, the few tertiary level educational institutions in Trinidad and Tobago and Caribbean that has as part of its criteria for certification, uh, a volunteer and a practical element known as the internship, right? Where students are actually immersed into the industry and gain practical experience. So it bridges the gap between theory and practice. So that is the, the, the second point. Our education links theory with the practice and practical approaches. And of course, we also look at developing critical thinkers. This must not be a cookie cutter machine system. And we, we take pride in that. We aim to develop critical thinkers, immersed in a situation, ready to offer solutions and make recommendations towards the greater good of working people. And of course, we want to be a part of enhancing productivity and our education, we proudly boast, used well enhances that productivity. Now, specifically as it speaks to credit unions and cooperatives, it's really about training of future leaders. Time and time again, we hear about the succession issue across all business platforms, including credit unions and cooperatives. The Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies under the Cooperative Studies Program. It really empowers and prepares future leaders to that particular training. And it equips individuals, the second point, with skills to function at all levels, straight from the strategic, to the operational level and all ways in between. And of course, it is also used to assist in positioning the credit union or the cooperative to be more competitive. We live within a theoretical framework and through our education, it helps to position it to be more 
competitive. The philosophy speaks to cooperation among cooperatives. And of course, in so doing, helping you to be more impactful in the community and in the country and economy. And of course, we look at some careers when you speak to getting a qualification in cooperative studies. Those usual careers, credit union managers, cooperative officers, which normally form a part of the regulatory office within different economies and societies. Then you look at the loans or credit officers, the member service officers and managers, you know, and we, we upgrade it from just the customer service officers and reps to the member service officers. Your marketing officers, delinquency control, community development managers and officers. And you also have persons who have gone on successfully to be human resource managers at credit unions and business development managers. But more than that, we also boast of, of having persons who have flourished in careers as entrepreneurs, both individually and collectively. And those collective entrepreneurs actually go out in society and, and form part of the innovative structure. One of the, the most successful examples is one located in a rural community in Trinidad and Tobago, which was actually the innovator in cut up vegetables in this country. It's on every it's on the shelf of every major supermarket in Trinidad and Tobago, and a cooperative is the one who has been the leader in that area. Managers, NGO management. Earlier, I spoke to the local economic development platform. So that non-governmental organizational management, the cooperative studies helps prepare you for that. And there are persons who have actually successfully come back and lectured and taught both at the college and in other places and have actually served as consultants for local, regional, and international organizations. And I take pride now in presenting what has been offered and approved by the Board of Governors of the college under the Certificate in Credit Union Management. We are proud to really present and offer one scholarship per credit union, the certificate in credit union management. For the upcoming semester, the program will be 100% online. So we are taking this opportunity to offer at least one person from a credit union that scholarship. Up. Some of you all would have seen it, and some of you would be first presented with it here, but it's really a fantastic opportunity and I encourage you all to get on board. And of course, in other areas, we take pride in historical research for the local cooperative and credit union movement and regional research on the sector contributions. We serve as a repository of information for any data on the sector. And of course, we pride ourselves as being a certification agency for industry standards, the cooperative and credit union movement. And I must present here, you know, one of our one of our renowned and traditional programs. It's known as the 10 Saturday program. Other times you would hear it as a 40 hour program and a professional uh, kind of practitioner certification to our 10 Saturday program where we would help persons who may not be so qualified to matriculate to higher levels. And of course, all courses being reasonably priced and offered by a fully accredited institution. Now, this is offered across all programs. So look forward to the 10 Saturday program in the fields of cooperative studies and management, project management, human resource management, occupational safety and health, and labor studies, right, across all, and all in between, including emergency management, supervisory management, and the like. So 
we are pleased to have you registered and that information can and will be shared. But of course, the future is now. So you must embrace this opportunity to empower yourself. COVID-19 has shifted the world five years ahead of where it was originally scheduled to be in 2020 in terms of technology. Persons who were not, were not you know, really pliable to embracing technology now have no choice. Organizations which in the past would overlook work from home policies and the like now must embrace it. So as much as the organizations are just, I encourage you as individuals to also adjust and embrace this opportunity to empower yourself. It's a very good time to upskill yourself. So we have some of our latest programs from the Creative Minds. And of course, online courses, it's 100% online being delivered for the foreseeable future. And we offer it through the Google platform, the G Suite of Education. So you will hear about Google Classroom. You will hear about Google Meet, Shubita, making this presentation and even Hangouts for group discussions. This is the platform which we utilize. And there are a number of add-ons which facilitate the successful delivery of online courses. And what do we do with those online platforms? We, we develop, you would, you would have heard me speak to the, to the 10 Saturday program. Instead of 10 Saturdays, because it's online now, we have broken down the online courses to four to five weeks delivered two to three times per week and still covering the 40 hour period. So we have compressed the program. The online modality has enabled us to be able to, to make it more convenient to you. And we look forward to you embracing it. We also have online specialized training at August 2020. We offered some programs between July and August, we offer the essential skills for directors, executing online meetings, SME Smarts for sustainability series, it's beginning with business resilience through technology. We also had some social media tips for SMEs. We had also training for the credit committee and supervisory committee. And this happens across all the programs and we will tell you more about it. And in the past, we have looked at corporate governance, boardroom dynamics in terms of handling conflict in a boardroom. And it's interesting now that we have a virtual boardroom, how that conflict will be handled. You know, even in terms of compliance, compatibility, sorry, and executing your fiduciary duties, whether it be as a director or a member of the credit or supervisory committees. And we now offer open courses. Now, what is the open course? The open course would be those individual courses in the various programs at the certificate level, straight up to the bachelor's level, which you may not want to be the, do the entire program. So you can now, it's, I call it, I call it a a la carte menu <laughs> for the program offering. So it's, so it's, Courses a la carte, right? Or certification a la carte. And it's 100% online. And you do get certified and receive credits. And at the end, you receive a letter of completion indicating the credits earned and the grade. And you can use it for professional certification or if you choose to come into the program to also qualify yourself. You know, you could use all those open courses you have completed to be able to matriculate to those levels. And of course, steal of a deal. 850 TT or US 130. Doesn't get any better than that. And just to give you a taste of the menu, we have some of the courses we offered, you know, like principles of, of 
basic principles of money management and securities, principles of EML safety, strategic management and leadership for cooperatives, very critical for credit unions, cooperative entrepreneurship and innovation, business law and credit unions, and cooperative organization and operation. So just, just a few off of the menu, you know, just a wet appetite. And these are really developed coming from some empirical research where they spoke to from staff to members of the board lacking certain competencies in credit union and cooperative certification. And these really help you to upskill and position yourself at the credit union or cooperative and even for other business. All right. And then we have, you know, the accelerated certificate initiative. These are standalone empowerment certificates, also 100% online. And we have some sexy areas offered, you know, in terms of the credit union member services and operations, accounting procedures and practices, compliance operations for credit unions, human resource and communications for credit unions, and the list goes on. At the end, you receive a certification, you get credits, and how this is structured, you will do three courses, three workshops, and you would receive your credits at the end of the day. You know, of course, benefits of participation, you receive the certification, you become qualified, you increase your knowledge of staff and members to serve, and of course, you qualify for higher certification within the college and that matriculation. And we at the college are always open to partnering with you if you have any further ideas. So look out for those questionnaires that would help you to be able to. Yeah. Any questionnaires that would be able to, for you to make recommendations as you go along. All right? So, all right, so. As I close off, you know, I would share my contact details and you would have received an email for me. So don't be a stranger. You can always reach out to me via that contact. And of course, just to emphasize in the words of the great Dr. Martin Luther King, the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and critically. And this is my favorite part. Intelligence plus character is the true is the goal of true education. Not just to be intelligent, but to shape and form your character. And Albert Einstein speaks about education not being just about the learning of facts, but training the mind to think. And as you prepare for the future, a good education is a foundation for a better future. As we look to this future, as it's affectionately called the post COVID era. We look for good, solid education. So I encourage you to apply now to the Cooperative Studies Program and enroll today in any program offered by the college. So I really want to thank you. I have I have been um, checking, you know. All right. So we have some questions coming in. So I will Work quickly along just to see if I can answer those questions any time that we have, the remaining time. All right, and one question is, um, what is the duration for the various levels of programs under the certificate, associate and bachelors? Now, under the certificate program, it's a year. The certificate in credit union management, six courses, over two academic semesters, or so it's all that is one academic year. As you go to the associate level, that would be two and a half years, and at the bachelor's level, it would be three and a half years. It's important to know that all our programs are nested programs, so you matriculate seamlessly to the certificate, to the associate, to the bachelor's level of qualification. So you can move up smoothly, all right, to do that. And do any of your 
your courses go focus on heavily on finance and accounts. Yes, we are from basic financing, all right, um, which is what could be covered in credit union accounting. Then you go to basic money management and securities, right up to managerial accounting and risk analysis. So we go heavily into finance and accounts at all those levels, all right? And additionally, if you don't want to get fully into a program, you can look at one of the open courses, which I spoke about, right? The accelerated certificate courses, or probably just the standalone program to certify yourself in those accounts and finance areas. And I have a question here from Anonymous, all right? Um, and I'm 18 years old and only have CSEC passes. Can I sign up for the certificate or associate? I will say, yes, you can. My experience has taken people from zero qualification right up to a bachelor's qualification at the college. And I have known those persons have actually gone on and completed master's certification. So yes, if you have, if you have three, CSEC passes or less, and an innate desire and passion to certify and qualify yourself, you can do so. So um, the open courses, how many of these courses can I pursue at one time? I would, um, oh, there, there's an age old um, African proverb, the easiest way or the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. So, you know, you, you can pursue it, but I would strongly recommend um, from heading a departmental level that you take it one at a time. Easy way into it. And as I get more comfortable, you can pursue more and more. So if you realize you can handle more than one at a time, you don't suffer any clashes, you can do it. All right? And the open courses run for one semester fully online. It's one semester. Our semester runs for 15 weeks. So it runs for one semester fully online. Right? And so one semester fully online. Just allow me. Yes. So the question is being asked, will classes be recorded and made available to students? Yes. Because it's available online, the platform, of course, will be convenient. So our classes are usually recorded, particularly for online purposes, for any review of the material that you may have. All right, um, let's check in. Right. Right, fully online, great, great, fantastic. All right, I have been informed that's all the questions for now, and I, am, I hope I've been a gracious host. You have indeed been a gracious audience, and I really thank you for your time here this afternoon. You know, as, as we, we continue to, to move along, I understand that there are a few questions on Facebook. I don't know. All right, okay. All right, I was just checking. All right, so you know it's it's always a pleasure to, to be able to present, and I I particularly like the end with this with this quote. You know, um, so just allow me to pull it up. I close off this session. Right, and it usually goes like this, you know? Uh, when you are presented with resources, you need to know how to utilize those resources because it doesn't matter how many resources you have, if you don't know how to use them, it will never be enough. So 
as an educator, I've seen it time and time again. Sometimes persons pursue certification, they pursue qualification, but they are not able to apply it. I really take pride in saying my program at Cipriani and all the programs at Cipriani not only provide you with the resources, but teach you how to use them. It's really about empowering all through education. So I encourage you to sign up, visit our website, www.cclcs.edu.tt. All right, I encourage you to visit our website to get more information on our programs and to sign up and apply for those programs. Okay, so I encourage you all to visit our website www.cclcs.edu.tt for more information on the college and our programs. We are also active across all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So you may, you may check us out across all those platforms. And of course, as we move along, we will hear from other heads of departments in terms of the offering of offerings of the college, from the certificate level, the diploma level, the associate degree level and the bachelor's level. Reiterating that all our courses and programs are now 100% online, which brings a convenience and a flexibility previously not really within our remits. But because of circumstances, we are here. So we are offering all our programs online. Standalone programs are also available. Those open online courses, which run for one semester, a la carte. You come and you pick which one you would like to pursue. So I really thank you. I'm making a check, a second sweep to make sure all our courses have been. Done. Right. So, all right. So, I'm looking forward to anything. I'm looking to see if I can join the chat in order to answer any questions that you may have because, you know, we are streaming live. We are streaming live. We're happy to have you here. And any particular questions, further questions that you may have, we look forward to answering it. Oh. Cool. All right, on behalf of the Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, I want to thank you all for, for you know, um, allowing me into your space here this afternoon, you know, because of, of the, the distancing that such a platform requires. I, I did not, I was not required to turn a face mask, you know, so you are safe. <laughs> and I encourage you all to keep safe to keep healthy, to keep sanitized, and to keep focused. Now is the opportunity for you to upskill. Now is the opportunity for you to acquire those resources. Now is the opportunity to empower yourself. Great. So thank you all very much. The stream on YouTube will remain open so I will join you all there very shortly so we can continue our discussion as you move forward in this segment of one-on-one on -one with CLCS lecturers. All right, so stay on in the chat. Please stay on in the chat and we will continue to have our discussion. I know some persons are now telling me they are trying to join the chat. All right. All right, good. Yes. So please stay on in the chat. 
All right, so um, you all can continue to engage me there. Any further questions? So I'm signing off on this platform and joining you in the chat right now. So fellow corporators, ladies and gentlemen, friends, well-wishers, current students, new students, returning students, alumni, I bid you all safe and productive good afternoon. Thank you very much. So join me in the chat. Stay in the chat. Stay in the chat. I'm coming over there to continue our discussion. Thank you very much.